Well, I just came up here this morning to scout out this area. To have a little walk around through the woods in, in the area behind where the camp would go. All kinds of moose tracks and trails back here. As I explore these surroundings, it has become very apparent that the moose like this area as well. Okay, you guys uh, be the judge. How's the moose sign here? All kinds of moose here. All kinds of moose here. They like to bed down in this area. What do you guys think? You see the sheep? A moose right there in the snow. And another one right here. Look how the snow holds the hair. The moose lays down there, and when he goes to get up, leaves a lot of hair behind. This area has a lot of potential. It holds a lot of family history for me. The bog behind me here, that's where my dad and his brothers and his father and his grandfather hunted and trapped for years and fished. If I could get a cabin permit, this scene would never grow old to me. Waking up to this majestic view would be a dream come true. If I look hard enough, I'm sure I can see my ancestors walking on the bogs below, etching their everlasting footprints upon the land, ensuring their presence would always be felt here to those who knew where to look. It's Louise Hills right back here. You see the big level? Big level canyon. Cash Valley. Cash. Rabbit Hill. Up and behind the big level. And just at the base of the hill over there. It's just a short ride up here on uh, Quad or side by side, whatever, is Fox Island River, full of salmon in the fall, or sorry, in, in the summer. And this whole area down behind me is a phenomenal spot for spotting moose in the fall. So how deep is the snow, you're wondering? Still five feet tall, five feet deep. The boys will be skidooing here in May. All kinds of fresh moose sign here today. And uh, one might, there might be one over here bedded down. So uh, let's go take a look and see if it moved or if it's a stump or a tree root. I'm trying to figure out if that's the moose down there that's bedded down. I can't really tell. Okay. 
I switched over to manual mode to ho hopefully get a little bit more zoom out of this camera. Why, oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm 100% sure that's a moose. Why? Yes, that's a moose. Gotta be a moose. Can't wait to get this video back and check it out when I get home. Let's bed it down there across this little bog here. Watch, I'll show you. This little bog. Well, hopefully one day, be right in front of my cabin. Sometimes your mind can play tricks on you, and you can waste a lot of time watching tree roots, stumps, dark shadows, thinking it's moose. And sometimes, moose can look like dark shadows, or tree roots, or tree stumps. And after seeing a lot of moose from right here, I hope that's a sign of things to come. Sometimes I can swear and see a little bit of head movement or something. I was heard a whole steady at that distance. Well, there's no doubt in my mind, that's gotta be a moose. I gotta show you this tree. Triplets. But well, check this out. We go right up here, we find this, this big limb right there. That guy there. Let's follow him down. See how, he, see how he makes that little turn right there? Makes a hook? Now that's pretty odd. And that same branch that came out, headed towards the ground, looped back up, is now becoming a tree. with branches <laughs> like every other tree it no longer looks like a limb I was the videotape just that you'd swear it was a tree yes sir my dad carried moose off of this bog from the upper end all the way on down to my grandfather's cabin and then they rested up there and then they took it all the way on down to the house. 12 hours straight of walking. This is the Valley of the Moose. There's always moose in this valley. This is an amazing land. Dry ground here on one side of the hill and four or five feet of snow on the other. After a long hard ride on Skidoo in the country, the fellas should take the time and soak up this, the scenery here and maybe even have a nice afternoon nap. Nothing better than a nice moss bed. There is nothing more relaxing than having a nap in the middle of the woods on this wonderful Newfoundland outdoors. Wake me up for supper. Dreaming about riding Skidoo again next winter. As always, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe.